Here's a few of the things we put together for the project. Um, the filter itself is going to run around $30 to $40 online. It may be a bit more expensive if you buy it um, at a store. Ours was a bit more expensive. Um, the rest of the stuff, we just went to a uh, hardware store and put together an assortment of um, things that we were going to need. We found some vent hose, uh, four inch in size, some hose clamps, and um, some liquid nails to do the ceiling with. Um, and this is a photo of those things together. This is a, a photo of a typical stock setup in a Dodge truck. Granted, mine is a, a, a Ford truck uh, where it's been swapped in, but the things are still in the same basic location. Um, this is what, what's going to be removed, especially for the way we did it. Um, we, we wanted to uh, put the, the new filter up front and um, so that it could kind of work as a uh, more of a cold induction air intake system instead of um, putting it right there up above. So to get more airflow from uh, the grill and from underneath the front of the truck. So uh, here is a picture of the truck with everything removed out of the turbo. Um, it probably only takes 10 or 15 minutes to get the project to this point. And um, so we're ready to get to work on the install here. Now on my truck, some of the fender has been cut out of the way to get the battery up front where it normally is on the Dodge. So um, this makes an issue with uh, splashing and things like that. So I didn't want to get my filter all wet. So what I did is I, uh, we debated over this for a while and we went out and bought a, uh, just a metal bucket. You can see it in this picture. And we cut a hole in the bottom and screwed the filter in as you can see in the photo. And this works really well in protecting the filter. Um, later on, I don't show it here though, I cut a hole in the top of it so that it would allow for a little bit more airflow um, from the from the front of the truck coming in through the grill because it kind of faces downward the way we have it installed. So this is the uh, what we have so far nestled up in the front of the truck and of course on all the hose clamps we uh, use liquid nails really good to create a good seal and um, hold it in there really well. We tried several ways of getting the bucket in there we tried welding it on there and we actually determined the best way to do it was to get a, a couple of bungee cords and kind of wrap it around the bucket and hold it in place because of course you want it to be able to be removed fairly easy for uh, regular maintenance on the filter and it may seem kind of like a jerry-rigged way to do it but um, it was the best way we could come up with at the time so here's a picture of the way it looks when we finally got it um, hooked up to the turbo. Um, the whole process here probably took about an hour. Um, I don't really like the way this is kind of the, the tube has a few too many bends in it. and I'm actually thinking about expanding the pipe to uh, a 6 inch and reducing it down to the turbo size later on. But things were tight and this was one of the best ways we could get it in there. And um, air really does flow into this thing really good from under the truck and from the front. So hopefully that makes up for some of the tube restriction. If you're uh, doing this on uh, one of the older trucks and not the new common rail, you're going to have to move the battery, obviously. Um, we consider doing a remote install, like behind the seat in the cab. Um, but we decided just to go ahead and put it where it is in the newer trucks um, farther back under the hood. And this works out um, really well. There's plenty of room for it, especially um, with the uh, inline six motor. Of course, there's always plenty of side room to play with here. So all in all, I, I would say you could accomplish this uh, upgrade for under $100.00. Um, definitely if you get a good deal on the, the air filter. Um, so if you're looking to do an air filter upgrade on your truck, this is definitely uh, something to consider because you're saving a lot of money and you're getting performance that's just, just about as good, um, if not even better. The sound is definitely better. 
and um, also I would recommend removing that silencer ring on the turbo um, and that's that's really easy to do when you take off the air filter from the turbo there will be a snap ring uh, just on the inside of the turbo um, it's a, a gray colored ring darker gray and if you just get a, a couple of screwdrivers or a nail or something and wedge it in there and kind of work work it around the ring and pop it out the uh, the snap ring is holding in the silencer ring and it's just just a little stamped metal ring um, that's kind of curved inward and you just pull that thing out of there and that's all there is to that and that definitely makes your turbo a little bit louder um, I have no idea why they put those in there um, just like I have no idea why they're trying to make diesel trucks any quieter um, <clears throat> So that's basically uh, it on my truck install. If you have any questions, um, just comment on the video here, and I will try to get some answers to you. See you later.